Hey guys, it's your boy Joshua, aka Boy from Ipanema, here for ilovetocreate.com. Now the holidays are right upon us, and seeing as how this boy is from sunny Southern California, pretty much everything I do is inspired by the ocean. So today, I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite things, an under the sea inspired ornament. Here's what you'll need. A styrofoam ball, wire, some wire cutters, giant sequins, a coffee stirrer, or two if you break them like I always seem to do, and the Aliens Fast Grab Tacky Glue. I'm using the Fast Grab today because it's really thick, and like the name implies, it grabs on pretty fast. And it definitely gets the job done swimmingly. <laughs> Where am I? <clears throat> oh my gosh, I know who you are. Guilty. I'm such a big fan. I, I can't believe how small you are. Well, I am a little mermaid. Honey. You know you can't just jump out of the fish tank carriage like that. If that car would have hit you, you would have been sushi. What sushi? I mean, I'm really, really honored that you guys are here. Trust me, I'm big fans. But, um, it's just, I'm here and I'm like doing this video and it's like... Video. video. <sighs> we look great. Yeah, we do. Great. Uh, guys, um... <laughs> yeah, well... Looks like these ones aren't gonna let me off the hook. <laughs> Not cool, dude. Oh, sorry. My bad. Uh, well, since you guys are here, how would you like to help me out and make these ornaments with me? Sure. Of course. Alright, cool. Well, luckily I brought enough stuff. And you know what they say, crafting with friends. Two's company, but three's a school, right? Cause, cause like, a school of fish, huh? I don't get it. I don't get it. No. Let's get started. So we start off with these big white foam balls and then a couple coffee stirrers. So all you're gonna do is go ahead and stick in your coffee stirrer right into the bottom of your ball. So it looks like a lollipop. This is gonna help keep your hands off the ornament while it's drying and it'll give you a nice free space to work with. Now using Aileen's Fast Grab Tacky Glue, just go ahead and put a little dot right on the bottom. A little glue will do the trick. Then, adhere the sequence to the glue around the base to give you a starting point for your scale pattern. Let's take a look at yours. Okay. Actually, that looks really good. It's a learning process, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Kind of the beauty of these things is that it can go all over the place. So if you look here, you already start to see the pattern forming. It almost makes it look like fish scales. Repeat the process tucking the next row of scales under the previous row. Keep tucking the scales until your foam ball is completely covered. Then remove your coffee stirrer. Now for the last step, we want to put in a wire so that you can hang it on your Christmas tree. Cut a small piece of wire and make a loop and give the ends a twist. Then push the wire into the hole where the coffee stirrer was. Add a bit of tacky glue around the wire base to seal it in. Bam bam! Let your ornament dry and just like that, you have yourself an ornament that all the cool fish are going to envy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And most importantly, subscribe. Happy crafting.